So today we're going to go over more multiplying integers. Uh, today, though, we're going to focus on what do you do when the numbers have different signs. So we're going to start the same way we did yesterday. We're going to look at these same two charts, and we're going to use these to help us come up with the answer to these two questions. We're going to multiply two integers, and they have different signs. So one's positive and one's negative. What's the answer going to be, positive or negative? And then what do I do to get the answer? Same questions I always look for. Okay? So let's fill this out. Obviously, we know that 2 times 2 is 4. We know that 1 times 2 is 2. We know that 0 times anything is 0. And again, same thing as we did yesterday. Now we can look at this pattern that we have. And we see that it's going down by 2. It's going down by 2. It should probably go down by 2 again. And it does, and it gives us negative 2. And it should probably go down by 2 again, which would be negative 4. So this is the first chart. So on the second chart, again, we have a 2 times negative 2. Well, that's what we just had up here, and we know that's negative 4. We know 1 times anything is that number, so that's got to be negative 2. We know 0 times anything is 0. And now we can see that these ones are actually going up by 2. And so we, they should probably continue to go up by 2 which would give us a positive 2, and then up by 2 again gives us a positive 4. So we could use these charts yesterday to see what happens when we're looking at two positive numbers being multiplied or two negative numbers being multiplied. Now we want to look and see what happens when one is positive and one is negative. What is that going to be? Well, let's look where I have those. Got two of them right here, where the first number was negative, second number was positive. And down here, I have two more, where the first number is positive and the second one's negative. And what we can see in all four of these, it didn't matter what came first, the positive or the negative, it doesn't matter which one's bigger, okay? Every single time, the answer was a negative. And that is exactly what happens when you multiply one positive and one negative. It's always negative. Doesn't matter which one comes first or second, which one's bigger, which one's smaller. If one number is positive, one number is negative, when you're multiplying, the answer is going to be negative. And then the other part of it is what do we do to get the answer? Well, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. We're just multiplying again. It's a multiplication problem. We multiply. That's all. So very easy, very straightforward. And so we just have four problems to do. So again, go ahead and pause this. And then start it back up, and I'll give you some answers. Okay, so first one, I have a negative and a positive. They're different signs. I know my answer has to be negative. Then I'm just going to do 3 times 9, and I know that 3 times 9 is 27. That's it. That's all you have to do. You should have these three done already, and we will check these ones tomorrow in class and make sure that you got them right. And that's it. Very short video tonight. That's all you need.